And it's about 2.15 a.m. in the morning, May 21st, 2010. We took about five hours to do virtually everything. I'm going to check the total acid several times again tomorrow and using some additional tests to cross-reference the tests we did tonight. They are different tests. And I want to make sure that all the results are within at least 0 0.1, 0 0.2 milliliters. So we wound up, we think, with a total acid of 5.4, 5.5. And so for, so for 80 liters of must, we put in 80 grams of tartaric acid. We're testing in tomorrow to see what the acid content is in the real world after it was added. And we'll go from there. And tomorrow evening, God willing, we'll add the yeast. And we're going to cover the fermenter tonight with a sheet, not plastic, because that will eventually tend to keep in too much heat once it does start fermenting. And we don't want the fermentation to get too hot and not to last long enough. Both very bad for the outcome of the wine. Okay, Paul, you can throw in that yeast nutrient. And I'll take that bowl for you, honey. And just give that a about a two two minute stir would be good. Try to reach down to the bottom. Scrape the bottom a little bit. And then in about a half an hour we'll put in the Lelvin RC, what is it, 212? yeast. I'll go upstairs and rehydrate that right now, Dolly. Looks good. And this is about the 20 minute mark of rehydrating four packages of Lalvan RC212. I started with about 200 milliliters and we're up to about 500 milliliters. And in about another 10 minutes or so, we're going to pitch the yeast into the must. It's time to add the yeast and Paul's going to pour the yeast slowly in concentric circles going all around the surface and then there's a lot of foam right Paul so go out go to the outer surface where there's some fresh juice and kind of slosh that around in the cup a little bit so that the yeast will come out and I'll pour that around the outside circles until that foam comes out of the cup. That's it, and just that's the idea. Beautiful. And then some people will, and some some books will tell you not to stir, but what we're going to do is stir just a little bit at the surface level. just to get it below the surface level, I should say. And go around the outer edges too. And that's going to do it. And you know what? Just take the grapes that are kind of uh, a little too far above the surface and that's it. Especially over there until they're 
kind of covered, at least covered as much as possible. And I think that's going to do it, Paul. Beautiful. Uh, maybe within, oh, 4 to 8 to 12 hours, hopefully no more than 24, or have some fermentation on our hands here. Thank you, Dolly. All right. Today, John's going to punch down the cap. We're going to do this at least twice a day so that the wine, the must, can extract all of the colors yeah, I told you about and that. flavor and phenols from the grapes right. on top. I never told and you. so the grapes don't become hard no big and thing start anyway. to spoil and pick up bacteria. So first he's going to punch go down, down the grapes and, all and then we're going to stir it to aerate it so the yeast will be more active. Go ahead, John. What then have anything to do with you? This is not what you call a classic punch-down object here. It's Who's a spatula. To but for our purposes, Mickey? and for our mouth, yeah. it works well and it's clean the bowl instead of using a wooden plunger. If it had anything to do with you and Vicky, I would have told you about it. Hear that, John? Yeah. That's not what I, I heard you. some things. What do you mean that's not what you heard? It's not what I what heard. Things? What did you hear? Things. I heard some things. I heard some things. You heard about me and Salvi then? I heard things, Joey. Yeah, you heard that I cracked Salvi all around. What'd you hear? Joey. I heard things. What things you heard? I heard some things. Hey, you heard things. You want to worry? Don't start that worry shit. You know what you should worry about? Worry you got this title fight next right. month. That's what you should worry about. You can even do it just another 30 seconds if you like. Get them down a little deeper and then we'll stir them, John. Boy, it's too bad this camcorder can't pick up the aroma like smell-o-vision. Yeah. Someday they'll have that, maybe. They'll be able to somehow digitize the aroma. And then somehow, on the other end, have a device that can interpret it and recreate the smell. All right, I think that's good. Now, what we're going to do... You know, John, that's good. That's it? Yeah, and then we're going to, let me stir. I, you could use that to stir, but it's not quite long enough. Let me get that out of your hands there. There we go. Okay. You can put your hands right down in there. Try to touch the bottom a bit and stir the whole must. Mmm. Ah. Oh, smell that, John? Yeah. That's... The whole reason I make wine, right there. Frankly, I don't even care that much about drinking wine, but making it, smelling it, and having reasonable success with it is probably the bigger parts of the whole thing. to get some off the wall there you can use your hand later in, a, in another minute or two then it won't harden and pick up bacteria I think that's good John to be honest with you you can set that right in the middle again good good I should have brought you down a towel Beautiful. And you can wipe those little skins off your arm. Put them back in there and be alright. How's that look to you? Good. Beautiful. And today is the 23rd, I hope. Yep, 23rd. Good. So this is really the second day of fermentation. And we're going to cover it back up. And today, we're going to drain the fermenter and press the grapes, rack the wine, and John's going to turn the spigot and see how much wine comes out before it gets clogged, or must, I should say, must end wine. All right, John, shut that off, shut that off. Good, and now, let's grab the filter and that is right here yes try to put the small one inside of the big one and see how that works John 
There you go. So we know we have a pretty good flow. It works much better, John, than it did when we last made it, when we left that fine tip on. Yeah. I don't know why I did that before. I don't know if I can wait until I taste it. <laughs> We're going to have to have a little tonight, even though it's going to be murky and still a little sweet. Now this is a six gallon bucket and we're not going to fill our, even our five gallon carboys up to the top so let's stop it right there and close it slowly. Yeah, there we go. That's it. And you can take that shot and set it. Paul, can you get that thing right there and put it behind Johnny? Beautiful. Or I'll just put it right there actually so John can put that in there temporarily. That's it. And now John, we're going to take that bucket and we're going to pour it into that bottle. But I'm going to bring it over here so you can have a little more room. Alright John, let's see how we do pouring that bucket into our 5 gallon carboy with funnel and a fine filter. It'll be interesting to see how fast that goes through the filter. Might want to hold the uh, filter. That's a good idea. Well, that's going through nicely, John. Yeah. Uh, probably because we used that sieve. Right. Still keep going because there, be, there needs to be room at the top for the secondary fermentation, and that will bubble and eventually come up higher, especially on hot days. I think we're going to be okay. All right, that's enough because that thing still has to go in there. We want to make sure that we've got enough room at the top. I think we're going to be all right. Let's remember that fill mark, John, on the yeah. pail there. We can go to that again. Something to stir the top, maybe. Go right ahead. Yeah, you can use your hand if you like. That's doing it. Since we are all sterilized before we came down here. More or less on our hands. Can you feel uh, any materials in there, seeds and stuff? Yeah. Okay. But look what we caught in that basket. That yeah. was fantastic. John, I don't think we used that before. No? Good. And we won't want it any higher than that top ring that we see on the carboy anyhow. So that came out just perfect. And if you want, um, 
take that filter off.